In this hands-on video, I will show you how you can use S3 versioning feature. Hello, my name is Ankush Jain. I am a software engineer and I make videos around .NET and AWS. If you are looking to learn about S3 versioning feature, then just stay with me for next 5 to 10 minutes. In this video, I will show you everything what you need to know about S3 versioning. So let's get started. So just open the AWS console and search for S3 and you will find S3 in results. So just click on this. So now what we are going to do, we are going to create a bucket. So if you land up on this screen, then th this is fine. Otherwise you just create on, uh, sorry, just click on this bucket. And from here, just click on this create bucket button. Now provide a name to this bucket. So I am providing this name. Okay, S3 versioning Ankush. Uh, and uh, I'm selecting my region, which is AP South 1 Mumbai. And for object ownership, leave it default. For block public access, leave it default because we are not allowing any uh, allowing this bucket uh, to public. So we are blocking the public access uh, eventually. And for bucket versioning, right now just keep it disabled and just uh, scroll down to the bottom and click on create bucket. So this will create a bucket and which is uh, not having a versioning enabled on it. Okay, so just select this bucket. So now what we are going to do, uh, since we have not uh, enabled the versioning, we are going to upload few objects or few files. So what I'm going to do, I will just click on this upload button and it will take me to this upload screen. Here I will click on this add files. From here I have you know already prepared few images which I'm going to upload. So I will upload these two images, okay? and we'll scroll down to bottom and click on upload button so now these two files have been uploaded successfully i will close this and i am back on my s3 uh, versioning ankush bucket so here you can see in objects tab there are two objects or two files that i recently up, 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 uploaded sorry so now what we are going to do we are going to enable versioning okay so we will go to properties bucket versioning select edit and select enable save changes okay so earlier our bucket was not versioned now our bucket is versioned so we'll go to objects and we will start getting this show versions checkbox so if i want to see the versions of these existing objects so i will just you know select this and you can see there is a version id column and these objects are having null version okay so if you have uploaded any objects before you have enabled versioning so those objects will have a version id which would be equal to null okay so now what i will do i will upload another object so here i will upload this file and i will see the version so since i have uh, enabled version so now it should have a version id okay so you can see this logo.jpg file which i just uploaded having version id okay so that's the one thing that i wanted to cover in this video another thing is deleting the objects so how delete works in case of versioning okay but yeah before we go to delete i will uh, upload another object uh, i will you know upload this logo.jpg file again to show you how it how the versioning works so i will go here and again upload it so now if i just select this so you can see there are two versions of this logo.jpg file so this is the earlier version and this is the latest version okay so now if i want to see this image uh, so what i will do i will just select this okay i will just first uh, untick this so i am seeing right now all the objects i will select this object and i will open this so as of now you can see that i can see this image but in the url uh, there is a lot of other things as well in the query string so by default if we just try to access this uh, image with only this url we are not able to access because 
uh, we have blocked public access okay so uh, just for this demo i will make this bucket publicly available and i have to do two things for that so what i will do i will go in permissions and i will just edit here and deactivate this setting so that uh, my bucket uh, it will not block my uh, public access to my bucket so i will just type confirm here so this is one thing that i have done even after doing this i am not able to access so i have to add a bucket policy for this i will go to this url okay so this url is basically about you know how how to configure a website on amazon s3 so here i have to look for bucket policy so i will search bucket policy so yeah and i will copy this bucket policy and i will scroll down and i will update the bucket policy here and will copy this bucket arn and i will paste it here so what this policy is basically saying it is allowing everyone because in principle we have a wildcard which is a star and it is allowing everyone on the action get object so it will allow everyone to uh, to to get object on s3 bucket on this specific bucket which we have defined so we are going to save this and once we have saved it if i try to access this i should be able to view the image okay so now my bucket is public and i can access the objects publicly so now i am going to show you how the how the delete works so okay i will again go on objects and i will select logo i think it is logo yeah logo so notice that i have uh, not selected uh, this show version so when i am not selected uh, i mean this uh, show version is not selected then you are seeing uh, the objects s3 objects but once you select this you are getting the versions okay so this may look like uh, you are getting the objects uh, but they are versions so for logo object you are getting two versions okay so i will just untick it and i select it and i delete it okay so i will delete and once you delete it you will see that it is saying delete the specified object adds delete marker to them so what what is happening basically uh, it will not actually delete the object instead it will add another version and the version uh, would be kind of a delete marker so i will show you in a few second so let me delete it and once i delete it is successful and it is not appearing here okay so if i try to access this i am not able to access this because i uh, access is denied because the object is not has been removed but if i just want to show the i mean if i just want to view the versions so i will select it and you will see this logo.jpg is there is a, a delete marker has been added okay so this is the first version this is the second version and this is not a version but yeah it is a marker which has been added or i guess i should say it is a version because it is having a version id but it is delete marker so uh, what has happened uh, i mean uh, it it is working kind of in a stake form so this is the first item in a stake this is the second and this is the last item okay now since we are using versioning so i just want that i want to recover this file so in that case you you will just delete this version okay so if you select this it it is only showing the objects which are in s3 but if you select this it will show all the objects along with their versions okay so what i will do i will just select this and i will delete it so here what it says to confirm deletion type permanently delete because we are deleting a version okay so we will type permanently delete permanently delete and click here so now that delete marker has been removed oh Oh, yeah it is deleted successfully so now if i go back and see so again the logo dot jpg is back into the action and if i try to access this it is visible so eventually uh, 
the point I'm trying to make here is if you want to delete something, then you have to remove the delete marker and the object will automatically get back to its original state. OK, so this is how versioning works. And one more thing I would like to show you, like you can also disable the versioning. So it is not like you have enabled the versioning once you have to keep it forever. You can just go into properties and from here you can suspend it. So uh, yeah, acknowledge and save changes. So what will happen now if you upload any other objects uh, now onwards, they will not uh, you know maintain versioning but it will not delete the older versions that it you know uh, that exist already so yeah that's all i wanted to show you in this video and i i hope that this video would be useful to you and if you really find this video useful then you can hit like button and subscribe my channel for more such content thank you very much for watching